I'm Daniel Gate with J Sports Network. Alongside I've got Ray Eskew, head trainer of the Invicta Gym, uh, the located at the Minster Golden Gloves Gym on the Isle of Sheppey. How are we getting on, Ray? Yeah, good, good. Things are going good at the moment. The lads are all busy getting ready for their fights. And uh, yeah, it's going great at the moment. Uh, obviously, we've just been speaking to Dave Jones, one of your fighters. Uh, things are coming along really well from him. Do you want to talk a little bit about his sparring that he had up with uh, Dave Price during the week? Yeah, yeah, uh, we got invited up to um, Rotherham to spar with David Price, and obviously that kind of sparring, that's an opportunity you can't miss. And uh, we went in there, the first thing you obviously you notice about David Price is the size of him, six foot nine, uses his re reach brilliantly. Um, Dave's never the shorter person in the ring, and for the first time he had to see how it feels for the rest of us. Um, and he done really well, it took him a couple of rounds to get the timing right, a couple of rounds to, to get used to the kind of the whole situation, and then from then on, he, he worked as usual, you know, so I, I was really pleased with the way the sparring turned out. Dave learned a lot from it, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he also gave David Price a, a, you know, a worthwhile spar. So. Yeah, you've, um, like you say, you're talking about Dave Price there, but it's about Dave Jones there, with one of your fighters. <clears throat> you've got a couple of good fighters over here. Unfortunately, Ollie Edwards, one of your boys, he's had to pull out of an injury on this next show. Um, but like we say, you, you've got some, some good fighters here and uh, the Sunday morning sessions are starting to become quite busy, as we can hear in the background. Yeah, I mean, w one of the things that we're doing, doing um, uh, at Minster Golden Gloves um, is uh, we, we invite anyone along on a Sunday morning. We, we're, we're starting to do it at 10.30 in the morning now. We, we was doing it at 7.30, but because people were, have, have been travelling from quite a distance and it's a little bit hard on them to ask them to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning or whatever to get down here. So we're going to start it at 10.30am. There's absolutely no politics involved in it. So what we're saying is it's boxing. We are boxing. We're not doing kickboxing. MMA or anything else, it's boxing and uh, we want people from professional boxing, amateur boxing, um, unlicensed boxing, whatever, we want to bring them in with us and see if we can get them interested in professional boxing with Jay's, JE Sports Network etc. Um, and they've got, they've got to be seniors because we're in, we are interested in professional boxing but we're, we're going to show them and show what we do here and um, it's a really really friendly you know, uh, you, you've been here yourself, Dan, yeah. uh, as a fighter uh, uh, as well as in this role. Um, we're, f we're friendly, we're welcoming, there's no politics, we, we don't have any old rubbish here. You know, it's a, it's a really, I really look forward to Sunday mornings. Yeah, this, this, the, uh, the Sunday morning sessions, as you said, they are, they are really friendly, really fun. Um, they're always a great laugh, always a great bunch of characters get down here. Some really good sparring goes on. Um, I've been in, involved in a couple of them. To be honest, we've got uh, Chev in the gym, be honest, who's fighting for the GB squad on the yeah. 26th of this month. Obviously, someone that it's nice to have in the gym. Um, as you say, we, you're doing it to, to get lads together on a Sunday morning to, uh, to get some good sparring for, for your lads and for anyone else. Um, no politics, anyone's invited. Uh, and almost uh, a bit of a, a, bit of a, a talent spotting uh, session, really. Um, y yes, in regards to talent spotting, but not poaching. Yeah. We're, we're not interested in taking other people's fighters. The co their coaches are more than welcome to come along and, and be part of the, you know, the fun we have on a Sunday morning. Um, they're more than welcome to come along, so we're not out to poach anyone. But what we are, what we are really looking for, we are, we are doing a little bit of talent spotting as well. In regards to, you, you find people, they might have done some mixed martial arts, they might have done some kickboxing, they might have been on the unlicensed circuit, but would really like to see how the professionals do it, you know, and start mixing with, with, with the people that they're watching on television, you know, um, and, 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 and if that's the kind of route they want to take, we are certainly a doorway to that. We're not saying that you have to train particularly with us, but, you know, we'll give you some friendly, unbiased advice. You know. I, I, I've got, um, uh, like Chev here, um, I mean, he, he trains at Gravesham, just won the ABAs, he's a great, great talent. I'm, I'm not here to poach Chev, I'm here because he's become part of this kind of friendship group we've now got here and it's just lovely having him down here and look he's, he's come down here and does us a favour because you know he's having a spar with people bringing them along he's a very very high standard and um, you know it can only be good, good for all of us and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to raise everyone's standard so if you want to come and just raise your standard if you want to raise your standard in kickboxing come along and do some boxing sparring and who knows where it'll take you that's right yeah you mentioned uh that you're not you're not posing fighters. What what I was getting at was that you're really what what's happening here on a Sunday morning is that the J Sports Network promotions they're actually looking for more fighters in the Kent area. Um, you're obviously 
well, as we spoke about before, you, you have got room to take on other fighters Absolutely. if their uh, current training situation wouldn't accommodate a professional, uh, professional boxing. But um, you, you're obviously not looking out to, to take professional boxers off other trainers, but you're more than welcome. Absolutely. Like, any, any, anyone that knows me particularly, um, but, but generally our group of people, we, we, we produce good people ourselves. We don't need to take anyone, and, we're, and, and as I say, we're not interested in, but we do, we do want some more fighters in the gym. It'd be nice to have a few more, and certainly with JE Promotions, look, this is the only uh, professional boxing promotion in Kent. So rather than trying to sell tickets down York Hall, uh, sell tickets around the country, Essex or whatever, why not come and join a professional team that are putting shows in your area? It's a, a train ride away at the very most, you know, um, a couple of stops, you know. Uh, uh, so far, J Promotions have, have, uh, have run shows at um, what used to be the Black Lion in Gillingham. Uh, it's called, uh, what's it called now? Medway Park. Med Medway Park now. Um, uh, there's now a promotion going on uh, Moat Park. I mean, you know, this is real local stuff, you know, even from the, the guys from Thanet or, or whatever. It's just so much easier to get to these areas than it is to try and find parking in London, you know, all, all kinds of stuff like that. Having said that, the opportunities are still there for you. If you're not just a ticket seller, if you want to join the professional ranks as someone that might want to, shall we say, go on the journey, you know, where, where you, you know, you're, you're out there and you're going as, a, a, as an opponent, then J Promotions accommodate that, you know. You can get on the big shows. You can get you can get on the um, Eddie Earn shows, the Frank Warren shows, um, Steve Goodwin. Any of these other shows, you can get on these still, but still have a nice local base with local fighters that are support you. Yeah, we um, talk about Jay Sports Network. Joe Feed, the uh, the main man behind the promotional team, uh, used to actually train him. So you've gone from training him to now training his fighters, uh, and it, obviously it's, it's it's good to see him progress into the. Uh, into the promotional side of boxing and the management side of boxing. Um, has it been working with Joe? Uh, obviously, when you worked with him, with um, when you was training him, has, has the relationship built as you as you've gone into the promotional side of it? With uh, it's actually me, me and Joe have always had a really brilliant relationship, uh, trainer fighter, um, and you know we went on some adventures together in uh, you know with, with Joe as a fighter. Um, uh, Joe, I, I say, and on heart, and I'm not trying to creep Joe, is one of the, is is one of the most genuine people you ever meet. There's absolutely no nonsense about him. Um, he's friendly. He'll give you everything he can possibly give you. But you, you know, he's not also not a person you can take liberties with. You know, he's absolutely typical Yorkshireman, straight down the middle. You know what I mean? He, he, what you see is what you get. And um, it, well, I've had a brilliant fight relationship with him. You know, training him as a fighter and. Um, I'm having a brilliant relationship with him as one of the trainers in part of his network, and, and it's a real family feel. I've got to say that. I mean, we're, with the, the, the uh, all the lads that pop in from from uh, that Joe promotes, wherever they're from, they come down from London, Essex, from up north occasionally. They're they're real. It's real family feel about it. It really, unusually for professional boxing, I've got to say. Yeah, Joe, Joe's like the, uh, the the daddy of the J Sports Network. Yeah. And as, as you know, we all know you as Uncle Ray. <laughs> well, I, I do anyway. I don't know if anyone else calls you. Uh, like, people call me a lot of other things as well, <laughs> funny enough. But, uh, yeah, Uncle Ray's one of the better ones, I must say. But, um, you know, we, you know we, 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 we've got people within the gym that, that actually have uh, worked with, with other promoters as well, and you know, I mean, you know, I, I train Gavin Tate, and uh, um, he's a Mickey Elliott fighter and that. But, but you know, he, he, he still kind of is incorporated within the group because, it, like I say, that, that, this this whole gym is about non-politics. You know, we're, we're we're involved in that. We are um, a JE Networks gym. That is what we are, and that is what I'd all encourage all the people involved in it to to be part of, because I just see it's such an important step for a professional boxing in Ken. I really do believe this is going to change the whole map of boxing concerning Ken. You know, all of a sudden we've got an outlet now where we can dictate it a little bit. You know, I don't want to have to travel to Essex every month or whatever to have a fight. I want to, I want to 
get out my door, jump in my car, and do a fiver's worth of petrol. <laughs> Yeah, for me, uh, personally, without being too biased, uh, obviously working alongside Joe, I've, I've boxed on a couple of his shows, I've always been a Mickey Helliot fighter myself, but I will say for fighters in Kent at the moment, um, Joe Elfie's looking like the, uh, the most promising option as far as uh, pushing your career on. Um, we mentioned earlier you're training out of the Minster Golden Gloves gym. You, you said you said yeah. to me earlier you'd like to have a big thanks to them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Minster Golden Gloves. I mean, we're, we're we're you know the professional side of this gym is Invicta Gym. Um, Minster Golden Gloves is an excellent um, uh, amateur gym. Uh, uh, we've got Gary, Gary Spring there and Mushy that, that run it, and they turn out some great kids. You know, they've had national champions, etc. And the the guy that finances and keeps this a viable option to us is Terry Dodd. And um, through his company and his sponsorship and his support, it allows Minster Golden Gloves to do what they do, and it allows us to do what we do, and he gives us a hell of a lot of freedom, and we are very, very grateful for that. Um, this gym also, I mean, you know, I, I must mention, um, as far as the finance of it, we have to contribute to the finance of this gym, and the people that do that for us are uh, Kent Trade Frames. Um, Bernard and his son Robert, I uh, can't thank them enough, you know, they, they support us in everything they come to the shows but you know we, we've got Bernie really interested in boxing now whereas he was football all the way and now he loves boxing as well and he, and he has a great time there they're great people um, and they, they you know, we want something we ask them they do their very utmost to, to help us out with it yeah there we are we've got uh, Uncle Ray putting uh, helping put boxing back on the map in Kent I'm Daniel Woodgate thank you very much